Good afternoon. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one-take property tours. Good afternoon to you. Well, I'm under the Tuscan sun today. I am in Cortona. Good afternoon. And I have this most amazing top floor penthouse apartment, which is absolutely incredible and is directly opposite the Duomo. And I've just pulled back here for a second and I can see someone's getting married. Yeah, how fantastic. Now, when I got here today uh, of this apartment, the electricity wasn't on. So I am going to try to do the best I can under the circumstances. But now that I'm here, I actually want to shoot this. Now, the first thing I would say to you is that this building let me pull back and I just slowly pull up. Look at that door. This building is 14th century. Yes, 14th century. And for those of you who have watched my videos, I love knockers. And that is a 14th century knocker. And look at the patina on that. That is absolutely stunning. Look at the woodwork. <laughs> Wait till you get inside and see the hallway. Right, let's get the key sorted out. Are you ready? Now, there's not a lot of light. Oop, I just hit the gimbal. But I'm going to do my very best. The hallway's got light there. There you go. Now, that is not a 14th century letterbox, but isn't that incredible? But look at that flooring. Mm, it's just absolutely yummy. And then if I come round, look at those wrought iron balustrades and these counter levered stone steps and I just want to show you that yeah right let's get up just gonna still short What a beautiful staircase. Oh, that for a lamp. What is that? Is that a griffin? Is it a dragon? I don't know, but I want it. Now, pulling around, and I'm just going to show you this. What a fantastic window. Okay, second floor. Now, as I came up here, uh, you know how much I love architectural detail. And underneath, underneath this doormat, I mean, look at those. Aren't they fantastic? I'm squeaking. Okay, get the keys ready. In we go. Well, what can I say when I immediately walk in? I can say there are lots of things which I recognize as 20th century design, but what I want to show you 
which is incredible, are these fantastic frescoes. Absolutely amazing. And what's more amazing about it is that if I show you this, you see these marks here. A builder would have made those marks with a chisel or with a hammer and knocked these marks out. And then he would have plastered this wall. And the owners of this house have painstakingly removed this to show the original frescoes. And then what they've done, because this is a listed building, is they bought in builders and specialized painters to redo the frescoes on the wall. And the owner's son, who's a really nice chap who I just met, told me that that cost 150,000 euros. Absolutely quite incredible, but you know, the results are just stunning. Now, this is one living room and I'm just going to pull round and show you the hallway. And then we came through this door. And then if we come into here, which is the dining room, and then we look up at this beautiful chandelier, and we can see the kitchen, which we will pop into in a moment. But if I come over here, and if somebody said they wanted a view, the camera would adjust. Yep. That is the tower of the Duomo. And to the left of me, further along, you can see the cemetery of Cortona and the valley below. What a view out of your window. Absolutely spectacular. All right. Let's get into the kitchen. Got to be loving that. I'm the chef in my house and I'm, you know, I want to cook here. Bespoke, stainless steel work area, professional extractor fan, which is going up. And then I don't know whether this is going to happen, but I think it's going to happen if I pull forward. Let me see if I can do that. You see that? Oh, fully stretched. That's your view while you're cooking your tagliatelle. Uh, <laughs> Need to get that right. <laughs> and then you've got your sink. And I can see a microwave and a cooker and this really funky stairs that slides along so you can put things away that you don't use on a regular basis. And then pulling around, I come back to this side with these beautiful fitted cupboards and that's the, that's the fridge. And in here, down there, is the freezer. And that's for all of you that have asked me to show fridge and freezers. Right, pushing on. And we've got to the right of us. I'm not going to go all the way in there. Let's see what I can do. I don't, that's a utility space. So I can see a tumble dryer, washing machine, a sink, and the boiler. Now, this is bedroom number one, which is 
or it could make the most incredible study. And I've got to, I've got to get out of here and I've got to, and I've got to tell you that the camera will adjust. And then you're looking at, it was a bit hazy today, um, your view, which is probably about 40 miles, 40 miles, 50 miles, all over the valley floor. And then here you've got a bathroom. Again, I apologize then. You know, a wet room and it has uh, nice mosaic tiles and a shower unit there. And uh, I do apologize that the lights are not on today. Let's get back into the living room. Now, that, if I look up, is arts and crafts. So that would have been a slightly later addition. And so if I come back here, because I do want to show you this, and hopefully the camera would do its thing. And I am, my arms are fully stretched, but can you see there? Yeah, they've taken that and then they've recreated it along the ceiling line. That is just super. Now I'm going to save the upstairs to last because I'm going to just do this floor and we're going to pop up because there's not a lot of light up there and I, you know, I don't know how we're going to be getting on when we get to the top of that. Now, this apartment is in the middle of Cortona and it is 360, 360 square meters. This is the formal dining room. It's got beautiful parquet flooring throughout. And then if I come over here, you can distinctly see the original frescoes. And looking up at the cornicing, you can see where the frescoes have been restored. And what I really like about it is that they have kept a section of it. I just think that's gorgeous. Now, I'm going to show you something because the owner is a artist and this is his art studio. He no longer lives here now, but now you can see, you know, when the, when the wallpaper comes off, uh, what you get. I mean, I love it personally. I really do. Beautiful 60s chandelier, look at that. Now it's very typical for these famous palazzi to have plastered ceilings. So I don't actually mind about that at all. Here you go, look at that. I'm just gonna pull slowly. I just think it's just great. Now, what is that? Is that evidence of a door? Potentially, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, it is a well. If you didn't want to live in the countryside, but you wanted to have the benefit of being able to walk out, you know, pop to the shops, go to a bar, watch the world go by, walk out in the evening and go to the numerous fantastic restaurants there are in Cortona, lock up and leave, super high ceilings. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. Stunning.
All right, what have we got over there? Let's have a look in here. Okay, what's that? All right, that's a bathroom. And I can see twin sinks, a bidet, a toilet, and a sink. And I've just put the toilet seat down. Thumbs up to that, I say. Look at the detail and the way that uh, it's being crafted. Here we go. Get me to the church on time. Fantastic. Right. Closets. Closets with mirrors. Master bedroom. Okay. I don't even get over it. What a view. I can't hold the gimbal high enough to get out of there. Personally, I would change that window myself. If I pull back in here, it's a real shame because I just don't think we're going to get any light in there, but you know, you've got a really nice bathroom and a shower and some really lovely architectural detail, which is just here. Beautiful alcove. Yeah, I might have to come back and shoot it all again. That would have been a fireplace. On the top floor, you can see the flue, which is here. And then this would have been the fire support at the top. Try to use another adjective now. Ravishing. Ravishing terracotta. That's what I'm gonna call it. Beautiful, sandblasted, beautifully restored, incredible beams. Just fabulous. Right, potentially too dark. Uh, the owner has two sons. They used to live here the full time and this used to be their suite. And uh, this would make, make the most amazing kids playroom. And up here you've got a bedroom with a sleigh bed and a really nice wardrobe. Great table football. And then in, in here you have one bedroom. And if I pull back out of there, I can't get in there, but it's a really nice bathroom. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, and I can see some details into there and you won't be able to see that because there's not enough light. And then a second bedroom here. Incredible woodwork. Let's see if I can focus on that. Look at that. Again, beautiful tiling, beautiful beams. I'm just going to show you this when I come down here. This glass staircase. Yeah. 14th century building, 21st century 
design. Just stunning. Now, as for price, 360 square meters. You were in the heart of Cortona. And the asking price of this, and I expect comments below, is 1.2 million euros. What a phenomenal view. Absolutely phenomenal. I just think I'm going to sit down and think I'm just going to follow up with a little piece to camera. Should I be interesting? Why not? Here you go. There you go. Thank you. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. You're seeing me in reverse, uh, which is really good. I just want to say that it just has, I'm behind the camera now, it just has such an amazing feel. You know, it, it, it just feels, I don't know what is that, what do I need to say about it? It feels chic and regal and spacious and just fabulous. And, uh, you know, attention to detail. And you might want to come along and throw, you know, stamp your own style on it, but... If you want to have part of Italy in this amazing town of Cortona, um, you know, and you're fortunate enough to be able to actually have, you know, this amount of money, then I would certainly want to, you know, come and have a look at this. Anyway, further information, it's not on the website. So please just send us an email at info at and um, if you would like to, please subscribe please give us a link and I will see you on the next tour. Okay, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love it.